Yo everyone, what up? Welcome back to Top Tier Arcade. My name is Steve, and you're back in the spare bedroom in my parents' house. We're staying in front of the Street Fighter 3 Third Strike arcade machine. In this video, we're going to be actually reviewing the Street Fighter 3 Second Impact Giant Attack, which came before the Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. We're doing it in reverse order, because the way that the uh, multi-cart works is you have to wait 45 minutes, and then you have to keep doing, um, you know, loading the next game. So I have uh, Second Impact loaded. My friends and I, my cousins were I, were playing, and my brother, and we wanted to kind of just see the differences. And being that it's kind of Street Fighter week here, because uh, Street Fighter V was just released, we're kind of going on the same theme. So it won't be really uh, a full-blown part series, like my other arcades, because this is still a Third Strike video in a game. So I'm going to be reviewing a little bit about the game again. I touched up on it on Third Strike. I'm going to be showing you some uh, hidden codes and unlockables and the difference between this and Third Strike and then also the, um, you know, the newer um, version of it. So let's get right into it. I don't want to take too long because I want to give you a little some memories as well and I don't want to go on longer and also some quick gameplay uh, and the reasons why. So. Uh, of course, this game this game came out. Second Impact was the second version. First was Street Fighter Three: New Generations. This is Street Fighter Three: Second Impact, Giant Attack, and then the third was Street Fighter Three: Third Strike. So in this rendition uh, competition, I still remember that it was released in ninety seven ninety eight. This one, this version was better received than New Generation. Uh, it had more characters. They added more game mechanics. And the uh, user interface, the UI was a lot cleaned up, the gameplay was a little tighter, and they added EX moves because the new generation didn't have EX moves. So, new characters, new backgrounds, better sound, and uh, better mechanics made this game a little more viable than the, the uh, new generation. So, new characters were introduced. Um, like I just said, I'm going to show you a code, and I've never tried this, we're going to try live, how to actually unlock Akuma in this game as a playable character. Now there's Shinikuma as well, but he's only, if you get to him, he's unplayable. But in the Dreamcast, he was playable. So going back to Quick, uh, again, release, it was a lot more um, received in the community. Um, some memories about this uh, was when a buddy of mine, he had the Dreamcast. I never had the console. And he got it for second like Dreamcast and he got, you know, second impact. So we played the hell out of that, you know, we're saying how much better it is before Third Strike came out. And we were really digging it, we were playing it, we loved it. And you can unlock not only Akuma, but again, Shinakuma. So, um, you know, I love the, you know what I liked about this game? Actually more than Third Strike, and I'll show you it. If is the user interface I like better. It's a little more almost Japanese-y and cartoony, a little more bright. Um, it was very Street Fighter-esque, um, you know, how it shows the characters' faces there was kind of neat. The time I liked this, the ranking, it was, I don't know, it was a little more Street Fighter-esque, where Third Strike was a little more hip, and, you know, with the hip-hop thing, which is I'm hip-hop cat, though I'm wearing a Rolling Stone shirt, but ideally it was, um, you know, I liked it better. I just, the backgrounds in this game are far, my opinion, the best in New Generation, Second Impact, and Third Strike. Second Impact had the best backgrounds. My favorite one out of all of the games, and the favorite background for all the levels, and I just saw this recently, is Akuma Stage. It's on Mount Fuji in Japan, and he's kind of like on top of the springs, and he's waiting there to fight you, and then he jumps down, and in the corner you see his little cave. Very simplistic, very good. The one thing I hate about the new stupid backgrounds in Street Fighter games there's too much going on. I think less is more. They have to go back to, you know, the nice backgrounds in this one. They had to go back to the same backgrounds they had in the Alpha series because I love those even better. But I really think the game mechanics with this. Some things that Third Strike did better was when you do a, and I'll show you, when you do a super, and it kind of puts you in this vortex mode, which I don't like. I think Third Strike did it better. Um, but as far as, you know, overall cleaning up the mechanics, Third Strike did the best job. My dream would be having, you know, if, if we can all do this all over again, or some sort of option, is having third strike everything, but the backgrounds of second impact, 
and some of the um, user interface as well and sounds that they use would be the best, I really think. Music wise, mm, I think Third Strike is cool because it's hip hop and I'm a hip hop kid. A little jazz, a little drum and bass. But when it comes to overall, like you know how it's a little more cartoony, I kind of like Third Strike better. Just the backgrounds are way better. Ah, I wish. So Second Impact when it comes to that was the best. Um, so what do we get right to it? That's a little about the game in my opinion of uh, se uh, Second Impact compared to the others. Um, I'm, so you're already set up. I'm going to go behind the machine. There's two ways to unlock Akuma. I've never done this. There's one way if you're a player or a user in the arcade, you can do it through button configurations through the select screen. And then there's a vendor's code that I can do to do it permanently as well. So because I'm the vendor in a sense, because I own the game, I'm going to try it. And let's try to get Akuma. Look, look at this cool stage, Alex. It's a huge American flag on the building. It's on a rooftop. It's gritty. You know, it's, um, um, you know, it's very kind of uh, like, not like ghetto-ish in a sense that it's kind of like a little run down. Super cool, man. I love, I love it. I love it. Like I'm looking at these and I'm almost dreaming. But anyways, so let me, I'm, I'm going to do it live with you. So I'm going into the tennis menu. Now, obviously, I haven't hooked up the coin lights yet, still, and uh, I'm going to make these available later, but we're in the test menu now, so the button's back there. So here's the way it's saying to do it. So it's saying, go into the test menu, we have, go to configuration, we have, so we're done that, we're going to go to game, and by the way, there's, I'm going to put both versions in the description below how to unlock it for the arcade. So you guys can do it as well. So game, it says to go to the time count speed, and here we go. So time count speed, press start three times. One, two, three. Event, we're going to go to event, press middle kick twice. One, two. And then go to screen mode, up the very top. High kick three times. Hard kick. One, two, three. Bonus game, press start. And we should hear Akuma's, oh no, not yet. Start. And then lastly, we go to damage level. And we hit um, low kick four times. <clears throat> yes, you hear Akuma? So Akuma just did that, we got him. So I've never seen him. This is the first time I'm seeing it in gameplay. So you know what? Let's, uh, actually, before I get out of here, so I'm going to exit this. Um, just for the sake of... Uh, just for the sake of this, I turn the demo music off. I'm going to turn it back on so I don't have to reach back there. So let's go to save that. So it's saved, and then we're back in. So the, the, um, it's loading up. This is what it looks like. Everything's you know back to normal. And there's the, the, it's the track mode. So why don't, why don't I set you up like I always do shoulder cannon mode. I'll talk with you while I'm playing. I won't play the full game. I might actually just cut away at the ending of each character. Just to show you a quick montage of me getting to the last guy and then me beating it to see some differences and some of the different levels I'm speaking about. Alright, so I'm gonna cut to that. Let's turn the lights off. I'll put you in shoulder cannon mode. Alright, guys, so I've just set you up. As you can tell, Akuma now is selectable where before he wouldn't be. He's right there. So if I never did the code, he'd be like this. So, I'm going to jump into the game. If we're having a good game, I might let this roll completely. Um, I just played around. I'm having some fun. So, why don't we start? Let's just get right to it. I'm going to be uh, smoking the vape. Again, no, uh, no tobacco in this. It's a strictly just water uh, vapor and flavor. This is called Easy Does It, which is uh, watermelon, grape, and a little hint of mint. So, it's after Easy E. Easy Does It. All right. So let's first start, let's get right to it. Oh, and then Akuma's here now, before it showed Alex. So let's do this. You know what, in the event, because we just did Akuma, last, uh, in third strike, I did Ryu, why don't we pick Akuma? I'm not, I don't have too much to, um, practice with him, but he plays like normal, so why don't we do that? Um, and I'll show you a couple of cool things. So of course, you get to pick three. Let's do it. Cool background. I like it better than the one that in that like fun house in the in number two. Yeah. Or number three. I'm... Now one distinct thing 
about Second Impact and um, New Generation, which you'll see in the next video. Yeah, here we go. Ah, shoot. There's a couple of things. That Akuma does not have EX moves. So Akuma doesn't have EX moves in all of them. Well, he's only playable in this one, so he doesn't have EX moves. Um, so it makes it a little difficult, but he's like, again, he has so many moves. Not only, but even though I have his super art, so I have this. Sick. So not only do I have that, but I also get to do the instant death, which I'll do in the next round. Let's try to get a perfect hit. Oh wow, I can do that in the air? What? <laughs> Sick. Cool background, you know, very... You know, I've heard the Japanese are very stereotypical, like, oh, you're a German, you must be drinking beer and doing all that riffraff. So I find that really cool. Look at this cool stage intro. Yeah, neat. That looks like Master Roshi from uh, Dragon Ball, you guys. I was talking to my cousin about that. Oh, another thing about this game. Get out of here. Another thing about this game and second um, new generation is to throw is the, it's not a command throw. It's like old school Street Fighter 2. You just go up to the guy and press fierce punch. And I'll show you. So just like that, you don't have to press the two buttons. But what I do find a little weird. Get out of here. Why is he talking to me? <laughs> if here's my gauge, right? I'll show you something interesting. I just found this out. Okay. Now, normally in third strike, if you do a Superman punch, like an overhead, it actually, this one takes your meter. You know what? I don't know if third strike does. Watch. Look, a max and then Superman punch. Ah, how do I do it? Now I forgot how to do it. Is it four? Damn it, how do I do it now? Now I forgot how to do it. It's usually... No, that's taunt. You know what? I'm a little bit. I can't remember how I did it. Anyways, let me just show you the cool instant death. Look at this. On fire. <laughs> it's sick. So not only does Akuma have his normal regular art, he can do the instant death or the... Um, the raging demon, whatever you want to call it. We used to call it instant death as kids. So I can, you know what? I can, I'll show you it, where you can use the uh, the Superman, but it actually takes your your um, your bar. So this is cool. This stage is in Egypt, which is interesting, because in in Third Strike it doesn't say where they're from. It says unknown or from the Mediterranean. This actually shows Egypt, like the the uh, oh, look at the dive kick. Sick. Oh, watch this move that Akuma has. Look at this crazy roll. I don't think he has this in the other ones. Uh, how do I do it? Now? Look at this roll. <laughs> crazy roll. He can evade almost anything. Damn, I can't remember how to do that. Anyways. Did you guys notice in the other stage? Or when I was facing. Uh, was it Yoon or Yun? Either way. Again? There was a smoking, uh, there's a guy smoking a pack of cigarettes being advertised on the bus. And they got rid of that. Okay. Usually I like setting up for the instant death, I'm not gonna lie. Damn it, it's been a lot of Street Fighter this week. A lot of Street Fighter. Look at that. Love it. I like that too. It looks cool. There. That's like a Street Fighter Alpha thing. Like I like how it shows kind of the picture. <laughs> look at that. Oh, look at that. Cool. It says, so the other one had a car. This has pairing. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Yeah, you know what I found? This and this is a good demonstration. Pairing in this game is a little tougher than in the first one. They're a little tougher there. I think they made it a little looser. Oh, look at Ken's stage. I mean, look at this. 
It's his yacht, ten masters. It shows his, you know, he's his angle. Look how cool that's his man. Love, love the stage. Now in this game, you don't get to choose who you want to go against. For third strike, you can choose your next character. So that's uh, that was that's something they changed in third strike. Not playing anymore. See that move? I think that takes. What the hell? What? Ah, I didn't hit the comp. Damn these controller. Okay, I mean you can't blame the controller, but I'm gonna get new ones. I'll tell you that later, a little later on. Oh, look at that length! And I missed it with a stupid roll. And I missed that. Wow. Silly, stupid gameplay. Stupid, stupid gameplay. Look at that. I'm missing all these openings. I'm not punishing them. Ah. See, now I'm wanting some death because I know I can land it usually pretty good. Look at that. Wow, this computer's not, not, not dicking around. No! There we go. If I can get him with the instant death, let's see if we can jump in. Oh, he's taunting? What? Okay, this guy, you know what? If I don't hit the instant death, I'm dead. What? And he's dead? Eat it! Peter doesn't understand instant death. The only thing is now I need a super bar. Get out of here. Yeah, wow, Ken's actually tough right now. I'm kinda scared what's gonna happen in the next few rounds. He's a playing like a player. Why am I not pairing this? Why? Why am I not pairing this? Jesus, this guy's playing like a real Lock, 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 lock. I'm running. Forget that. I don't want to lose. Oh, I'm on this priority, but barely got him. There we go. He's tough. He almost... The way he does, uh, he does range, like, it's actually very interesting, we box you in. <laughs> Beautiful stage. It's the same. It's the same in the first one, but it's at night. When I actually like it when it's cool. Falling for that. Wow. Yeah, she's not, they're not playing. These computers are not playing around anymore. <laughs> and only, it's not even a hard level, I don't think. Either. If I can save my super for the next round, I think it will. Ah. Oh, what the hell was that? Uh oh. So it looks like it's a loose sync wire to the monitor. That's not good. I don't know what I pressed there. Shit. Yeah, I got my, nah, it's got me distracted. Ah, shoot. Dive kick. Yeah, I don't like that. If I hit it, there's a loose wire. I think it's the sink wire or something. See, look at that. They're interactive. Actually, you go to the next level. Like on X Men vs. Street Fighter. That's so cool. A sleeping elephant. Real. I wish they had. I'm telling you, the backgrounds are better, man. Wow. They're not playing even with pairing this. Do it again. What? No! That's stupid. That was cheese. I should have got her. Oh well. 
Oh, cool. So my rival, Sean? Roy, I've come to the challenge. What? Who are you? I've never seen this before. That's it? Yeah, I, that's really cool. Sean's gonna go nuts, I already know. Yeah, and in, Sean, in these ones, Sean's uppercut's actually a lot more aggressive. He hits you and punches you at the same time. It's actually crazy. Ah! I'm gonna save my super. Yeah, I'm gonna save it. I love it. I love how that's interacting like that. Ah! Oh, what? What am I doing? I am not but I'm... Do something. And he's parrying? Get out of here. Yes! Kill him! Oh wow, that takes a lot of energy. Oh, what Akuma does not have in this, if you, in number three, if you have a double super, you can do the instant death, that, you can run down, 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 and all three punches, and he punches the ground, and the super you choose, which is insane. Three. Oro's level in the, in the, this is almost the exact same. In, uh, in uh, third strike, it's almost the exact same level, just I think it's a different time. Shit. Instead, there's a dog instead of a crazy cat right there. Jump. Jump. Whoa, stupid roll! <laughs> Cheap, 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 cheap. Oh, by the way, do you know in Street Fighter V, the new one that just came out, you can't kill someone on a regular with chip damage. So I couldn't kill them if that was, see, it says cheap. They're cheap. Ah. Suck it. Uh. What the hell is that? You guys see that? That's not good. I must have hit a wire when I moved it. Uh oh. It's the video saying shit. I think I hit it when I went to turn the menu on. The colors look all weird. Well, that's uh, it's the hobby. What happens when you don't restore properly? <laughs> Not too scared, it just, I know it's a loose wire. Cool. So here, you know what's interesting? So you go against Gil in the second last. Oh. So he's in Egypt. Cause, I mean, if you, uh, can't believe I might kill already. There we go. I'm wondering if my strategy from last game works on, it works on this one. Let's see if it works on this one. Okay, this not working. Maybe I have to go to my other video and find it. Sick! Kill him! Well, to be honest, Gil isn't as hard as in the third one. Yeah, but look at this. So the Illuminati, if you're a conspiracy theorist or whatever, I mean, a lot of it's, you know, like, if you look at the the American dollar bill and the pyramid, that, you know, that maybe that's, that's, maybe they're getting the reference from So, because in the comic, what the hell? In the comic, um, Gil and Yurin are from, like, in the Illuminati. 
And that's the, the secret organization once it's cool. Shit. Ah. A little overwhelmed. I wasn't sure what to expect. His deal's not the last guy. I, I, I can't remember. Oh, look at the green blood. Bro, one of my sheep. Oh, stupid, stupid Steve. Stupid, stupid Steve. Jump, jump. Oh my god, no! What? Are you kidding? Uh. Oh, right in the face. Shit. Oh, he has his... He has his, uh... Oh, he's an idiot. <clears throat> I'm so stupid, why don't I just block? Damn it! Chip damage, get him! Oh my god, let's go! I forgot. Oh, jump! Jump! Yes, I got him! Whew, that took forever. Barely anything left. Now the irony about this is, he's not the last guy. That's cool. So in in second impact, it's right. It's time to show me your full printed uh, militias and down there, Richard. Blah blah blah. Yeah. So it goes to really your uh, like your uh, your magic. You know that. It's cool that your rival's usually the last guy, which is kind of neat. But rival's gonna be harder harder than harder than Gil. Watch. Oh wow, he's carrying and everything. He knows what he's doing! Ah. ah, I didn't hit the super. Stupid. What the hell? What? Insane. Oh, okay, it hits both of us. It's like we both lost. Ah, shoot. Oh, I got him, sucker. Get out of there. Right up. Oh, boy, you can't block. What am I doing? And right into his face. I should get him. Dive kick, dive kick for the win. Ah, good enough. Boom, that's three fighter, three second impact. I've never seen this ending, by the way. Blown up shit always. Just exploding volcanoes. You know what's cool? That move becomes. Yeah, that move's become the one I was saying in the beginning. So I guess he learned it in this game and then he brings it to the second one? That's cool. That's really cool. So yeah, I guess that move he brings to the third game, because you can't do it in this one. Well, I've never seen that. So let's see what happens here. So yeah, guys. Uh, gameplay was decent. I mean, I did a couple of decent things. Um, first time playing him in this game. But, uh, you know, very similar to the other games as well.
thing I tell you, that's pretty much it. I mean, this one did a lot better. Uh, again, I wish I had the backgrounds in this one, but it is what it is. Interesting. It takes the, uh, the last image of the ending and it just has the overlay with the text. Should be coming to an end. I've never seen an actual reality on this, so this should be interesting. I don't like how that screen moves like that. I must have hit something. Shit. Anyways, don't worry. I'll get it, uh, I'll fix it later on. There we go. Thank you, Capcom. I like that game on the screen. Let's go. Cool. Ooh, I don't know what that means. Well, obviously I'm number one, but it, I wonder if a different crown is a different ending. All right, guys. So let me set you up. I'll I'll say my uh, my parting words, and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, guys, so that does it. That's the Street Fighter 3 second impact uh, gameplay and all-around review and showing you a couple codes for the Kuma. Uh, check the description below again if you want to check it out while you're down there. If you want to hit subscribe, do it now. A lot coming out. A lot of exciting things and uh, surprising things coming. And also, uh, the next video, we're going to be doing the new generation, which was the first rendition of Street Fighter 3. All the best. Peace. Hadouken!